Looking at doing the solid geometry for this pentagonal pyramid. Um, they have asked you to draw a left view. They've asked you to draw a top view. They want to see the section on the left view and the section on the top view. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to number this thing. I'm going to start out and I'm going to call that point number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five over there. There will be number one. That will be number two, that will be number three, four, and five on that hidden detail line at the back there. The apex I always like to call zero, and I can place that over there. Right, once I've done that, um, I'm going to start out and I'm going to draw the left view, but just in construction lines. I'm going to take lines coming out from zero over there, and obviously from the Base over here, I've got a line that's coming out over here, which is actually on my XY axis. All right. Take a measurement from number one. I've got that on number one over there. Take it across to the new XY axis over there and place that down and label it as number one. You can see that number four has exactly the same measurement, so straight away I can label that as number four over there. Continuing over here, I'm going to take this measurement from number two, okay, to number two over there. I'm going to go across to the new XY axis, mark that off over there, and label that as number two. You can see number three is the same distance, so I can label that as number three as well. There it is. Take it over there. Um, number five is closest to the XY axis. There we go. There is number five closest to the XY axis, and I can mark that off and label it number five. The last point that is vitally important to get is that apex. Make sure that that is extremely accurate. There it is. Take it to the apex. Take it across. Mark that off very often. For some reason, people get that wrong. Label it. And now I can draw in some lines over here. Just in construction lines. Got a line that's going to go over there. Line that's going to go over there. And a line that is going to go over there. Right. The next thing that we're going to look at is drawing the sectional plane on this. Um, and the way I like to do this is to take the set square and say, all right, what line is being cut over here by the sectioning plane. You can see one zero is being cut over there, and I'm going to label that as A. It comes down to number two, I'm going to call that B. Goes to line three, that will be C. Goes to line four, that will be D over there. And line five, that I'm going to call E over there. Right, I can drop a line down onto line one zero, and I can find my point A at that point. There is point A. B, I can do the same. It is on two zero. Take a line down. There is B on two zero. I can do the same thing with C over here on three zero. Take a line down. There is C on three zero. I can do the same with D over here on Four zero, but number E, you'll note that it's very difficult to find where it is cutting on this five zero line. The way that we can do that is to take a line out, take a line out from E over here onto my left view over here, and you can see where it's cutting through this five zero over here. So point E is at that point on five zero in my left view. Note the distance over here from the xy axis to point E is going to be the same distance from the xy axis to point E on this line five zero over there. That point over there is now called E. Right, once you've got that in place, you can then draw in lines going from there to there Line going from there to there. Line going from there to there. To there. And there to there. 
That is your cutting plane of the pentagonal pyramid. And what you need to do then is to take your uh, 0.3 pencil and you are then going to use a 45 degree set square in order to hatch this. Okay, 0.3 pencil please. And that is now hatched. Right, if you are flying above this thing, you'll note that I want to be able to see the cutting plane. Okay, so in other words, I have cut away the top part of the object. I can still see the base of it. So I must still be able to see these lines, one up to A, two up to B, three up to C, four up to D, and five up to E over there. I need to draw those lines in over here. Draw that in, draw that in, draw that in. And I can then also draw in the lines of the base of this pentagon. Don't forget to do that. Many, many drawings are wrecked because they, you guys forget to darken in this part over here. Right, once you've done that, we need to find the cutting plane on the left view. We found E, that was easy enough. I'm going to find A. A is found on line one zero. So I take a line coming across to line one zero. You can see the one, you can see the zero. Uh, B is on two zero. Take a line across onto Line two zero, and there we go, there's B over there. Take a line coming across from C. C is on three zero. There is C. D is on four zero. Take that across. There's D. And E we've already got, and I can draw in my cutting plane onto my left view. All right, now we start asking ourselves the question, am I going to be able to see the bottom of this object or the top of this object if I'm to see the cutting plane? Just going to hatch this quickly with my 0.3 pencil. There we go. Remember, I'm standing on the left-hand side. I must be able to see the cutting plane, which means that I must cut away the bottom section of this thing. There we go, I'm cutting away the bottom section, which means that I can see the cutting plane, but I can also see the top part of this thing. So, when I come to doing this, I'm able to see this line A0. There is point A over there, going up to zero. I will be able to see that. I'll obviously be able to see the edge over there, I'll be able to see the edge over there. The part that you guys tend to miss out is I can still, I can still see this line for zero, but it is being done as hidden detail. And there's a small amount of hidden detail which you must put in there showing this line going from D up to zero over there. It is behind this thing. If I'm looking over here, that will be hidden detail. Right. The next thing that we need to do is to get the true shape of the cutting plane. Now, the question they is wanting you to do a true shape of a cutting plane over there. Um, I'm not that happy with doing it there. I want to rather put it over here. Even if I go off, my off the border lines, I'd prefer to do it over there. It just makes more sense. Right. For doing the true shape of the cutting plane, the idea is that I need to look at this thing at 90 degrees to get the true length of these lines. The way that I like to do this is to take my piece of paper, take it off the board, place a ruler underneath that cutting plane over there, and use some masking tape in order to stick the page down. It takes very little time to do that, and I know that the accuracy of my drawing is probably going to be far better than if I did other methods. I'm going to draw a XY axis over here. Just take an XY axis coming across there. You can label it X and Y. And 
you can then take lines coming off at 90 degrees to these points A, B, E over there, C over there, and D over there. And once I've got those points in place, I can then take these measurements from the cutting plane. There is the distance from x, y axis to A is that distance. Find A, go up to the new x, y axis, mark it off, label it as A. Go to B, take the distance from B, find B, go to B over here, mark it off, label it as B. Go to C over here, find C, go up there, mark off where C is, and D over here, go to D, go up to the X, Y axis over there, and mark D, and E, E should be the closest to that X, Y axis, there is E, find E, go to the new X, Y axis, mark it off, that is point E over there. As soon as you've done that, you can then draw in a line going from A to E, A to B, A to C, I mean B to C, and there we go. That is the true shape of that cutting plane that has been done. After you've done that, you must just put some section lines through there with your 0.3 pencil. And they normally ask you to label this, so you should write a little label saying true shape of cutting plane um, AA.